All right, so guys, we are about to jump straight into our um, interview for today. Um, I'm about to chat with a veteran. Um, he's a broadcaster as well. And uh, it's interesting when we have broadcasters. <laughs> it's interesting when we have broadcasters on the show. You know, it, it's it's always interesting. He's a broadcaster as well. Uh, he's somebody who's so passionate very passionate about about gospel music and you know earlier on we talked about uh, our quote for today talked about consistency uh when you when we talk consistency then he is he has a phd in this thing called <laughs> consistency i must tell you um he, he he is the chief responsibility officer of ctc christian talent community and they've been around for a while uh it's a group of diverse talents with a common aspiration to be stars um, not willing to soil their core values so uh you want to you want to be able to fulfill your purpose without compromising your values this has been um the forefront of of his vision for many years now many years now and yes he is a is a multi talented person he's a pastor he's a, a broadcaster he's a singer he's a he's a promoter he's a he's a mentor he's a whole lot of stuff ladies and gentlemen welcome to the praise the clock show for the very first time if i'm right obuz bazali i just know him as obuzali <laughs> The few things I just heard now, man, you took me off my feet. <laughs> so really, so I thought I was the only one doing this. <laughs> wow. Great, great place. Wow. And a beautiful place. Why? Come, why are we not shouting about this place? <laughs> Forgive me. Why are we not shouting about this place? You have such a fantastic place. Wow. And no, 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 man, man, man. We need to make noise about this place. Good to be home. This is home. We did. My first time of seeing you. Oh, wow. And coming around. Ah, truth. Wow. See how excited I am. <laughs> I had to jump three bikes. Wow. Jump two bikes. Because of the traffic. Yes. Traffic I'm telling today you, is crazy. Left, car, left the car that took me because normally if you do that in Lagos, you're not going getting where you're going to. Mm. Good, good place. Good time. Wow. I know I'm going to have a great time here. Yes, yes. Let's this is this is <laughs> Praise World Radio. Yes, sir. Cut that clip. I said so. <laughs> put it back there. <laughs> great to have you, sir. How have you been? Very well, very well. Wow, I'm you. excited. To you see know, you. just looking at you right now, yeah. um, some memories, uh, some nostalgic feelings are just coming back in. And, <laughs> and I'm remembering 20. 13 mm. 2012, 2012 2014 i remember you know you working closely with artists like henry soul yeah and being passionate about you know this new crop of of artists then and and looking at nine years after you are still doing this so tell me what what gets you going uh, especially for the fact that um, we know secular music is um, has that instant gratification, yeah. uh, which might not necessarily be the same case when it comes to gospel music. So, what really keeps you and encourages you to keep going? One empathy, mm. empathy. You really never know what people go through until you've been through it. This young voice went through it. Nobody was ready to help, and we were used. We were misused. We were abused. But the use was always there. <laughs> so I realized that I was useful. So whether you are misused, you are abused or misused or whatever you use, you're useful. That's why they don't drive you. Mm. So the day you leave, you carry your usefulness. <laughs> wow. So when I realized I was useful, it must have been a product, a function of grace, not me. Which means I have a calling. That usefulness is needed by God for something. Mm. From that day, to life, if I tell you what happened, because God had to ask me, what do you want? People had done a lot of piracy. About four of our songs were taken by guys. A cripple sold our songs and became a millionaire. I sold over 30,000 copies. Became a millionaire. We were, I, I was rejoicing. And you know, some of the other two persons took our songs and did the, the, the pirated version and the rest. And I was so happy. Why was I happy? I was sleeping one night and I was going to the village, the, like in the village setting. I was going to the stream to fetch water with buckets. Suddenly, I heard like a deity speaking to me. I was happy. Do you know what it is for a to talk to you? Mm. I was happy. 
So I fetched the water, dipped the bucket in the water, and I was coming back and said, Stop. His tone changed to that of fierceness, anger, rage. Stop. Drop your bucket. Look behind you. I said, Ah, what I don't do wrong again? Ah, ah, I don't mash line. I be, what I do? He said, Look behind you. So I looked behind. He said, What do you see? I was shaking. I said, It's rich. Now, what are you the flow? He said, No, that's what I left inside of you. They took the bucket. I said, eh? Hmm. I don't wait for her to talk again. I wake up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and anytime there is prophecy hmm. or revelation, it must align with a word. Because the scripture is the A and Z of life. So I went back to the scripture and I realized Jesus was speaking with the woman and he said, Yes, true. The water that I give you, if you drink, you will never test again. And out of your belly shall flow rivers. I realized that, man, God is just saying what people took and pirated was just a figment. Figment. The river is in you. It's in me. I've written close to 1,000 songs. If you Google me, you see all of them coming. I sell songs online. I don't... <laughs> wow. But I realized that the young ones, there's a big problem in the church, in the body of Christ. I stand for the church. I can correct the church. I fight the church because I want to correct the church. That is my default setting. Every other setting where you see me, I make up. You understand now? I discovered that the young ones who are coming up, they don't show them the way. The first language I hear when I stay around people and as I interview them, children of nowadays, they are bad. Children of nowadays, I don't know. But the Bible said the fathers are eating sour grapes and the teeth of the children are set at edge. Which means that the papa and I, they show them what you to do with it, they become what they be so. Mm. You understand now? For somebody to become a bandit and kidnap people, somebody has been stealing money and nobody's talking. So if I know fist tea because I know the office, make I use another thing to do. You understand now? So this was what really got to me so many times we had the opportunity of traveling the entire globe but just sponsor us mm. and everybody pulled away not me my own why will you not invest in somebody who you know is faithful to you so i decided it won't happen in my time it will not happen to all those ones who are coming from under me if i suffer the same thing then they suffer it i'm a wicked man yeah so so trying to cut that cycle and hear cycle. me i stand for the church any organization that is kingdom that you think you are raising people, you are bringing people together to serve God and say time to make money. And anytime they call for you, now now we be big boys, they go first without showing the young ones who will bridge the generation. You are a sinner. It's a crime. Now only God go feel recommend them from your hand. Not be we. We go only grumble. Mm. Look at look at this. See where I open out. No, Tola, no, 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 no. You know how long you've been coming. And you're still there. And look at these people speaking. The words I heard from them now about how to take off children and the rest. Mm. I said, wow. This is not only with Sabio. Mm. So imagine that we have 50 of these in Lagos alone. They are doing well like this. Mm. Will you go to a television and say, I want, why, why, why will you go there? If Tola said we want to make a superstar this week, and you go around, all your guys, and all of us are together like a tribe. Money is important. You must put smart in at least you can negotiate, but put smart in. Then everybody's okay. We have a we have a star. Tola is coming up with an, a single. Um, uh, the, the single. The single. Oh, um, the single. Oh, oh. Your, your boss people, brain. Go, people will say, where, where is this guy they touch his brain? You create enough excitement right. to cultivate the attention. And give the 50 people at the same time. They play it at the same time. You don't create star with that. Hmm. It's left for him now to sustain it. Hmm. You understand? So this was what really motivated me to say we need to have it and in a nation of over 80 million people Tola we don't have a Christian entertainment community that caters for our entertainment need this set of people are still the people who are the consumers of all the big, 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 all the things you see on Instagram look at the likes and trace them 80% will be Christians mm. so why can't we come together so that when you one day you go to a school, you are talking to the children. Ah, my name is Tola. I'm a broadcaster. And, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a gospel singer. Have you heard it? I want to be a Christian artist, actor. Have you heard it? Because there is no structure. Mm. From grassroots development to top level recognition and reward. There mm. is none. If there is, he will maintain it and stay. Look at Kirk Cameron. Mm. It will stay to the end and win the award and get the 50000 If you give the boy 10000 an award, the best actor for this year in the Christian entertainment category is so, so, so. When you want to invite him to come and do comedy in your church, you're going to say, not be 10000 you go give him. 
everything don't reset because you create order we don't have order we don't so much i have to say my brother but we'll find time we'll talk again because the the gospel the, the gospel music let's talk about there's no gospel music industry in nigeria i obus bezali brother say so there is none there are figment of churches who have blown up who are just you know bringing their own out Christ Embassy is there, fantastic. Reverend Chris is doing an amazing job. Pastor Paul are uh, Koza, they are doing that. I can speak about all these things because, guy, God built me for this. This is what He called me for. You understand now? Some of us cannot cross to this way. Some of us cannot. There is no network. An association is for networking. And you are shouting the secular boys, they hear you, they buy you, they don't buy you tomorrow. Buy you. A gospel boy. He, look at Christ Embassy doing it. They go gather, but they'll buy plane, give their pastor you too much. Why? Because they can sell a million when they release one album. But why are we not doing for the next generation? What are we leaving for the next generation? What are we what are we setting on ground for the next generation? Okay, you want to join this community, okay, you pay 1000 naira monthly due. But what are you doing? No business, no fashion show for Christians, no uh sports. No, at least start something. I'm from club they enter dance. You know, so this really that's why I'm raising this call raise raise every voice. That's why all these things I'm wearing, you know. I believe, Tola, that we can synergize without anybody enforcing themselves, you no, know, on you, mm. but appealing to your conscience. Say, guys, let's join our hands together. Mm. I met with over 40 DJs, the Alga Quata Quata in Lagos. I say, you are gospel DJs, sir. Let us give you so, so, so small thing. Then, anywhere you are doing party, play one of our artists' music. Because now, the more you they hear and the impression will say, oh, yeah. are they hear this song before you know? The power of recall will bring the song. Yeah. We need to do all this. And our children don't understand industry. When they want to do industry, they go to the secular world. Mm. It's a problem. And we sit and we teach five ways to make it, seven ways not to be this, 12, 12 ways. <laughs> Lord help us. So, so wow. Uh, there's, 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 a, there's a whole lot Lord within this us. if we start to dig deeper. But now let's look at Raise Every Voice. Yes. Um, wh- where, where, how far has raise every voice come, and what point are are, are we right now? Yeah, ra- raise every voice. This uh, started twenty eighteen. Okay, twenty eighteen. The CTCNG have been uh, about eight years now, seven eight years now. Uh, raise every voice. What's raise every voice? Your voice is your strength. Your voice is where you are seated right now. Mm. You know where I can't find you, so Aja. I come. I came to. I came to look for Tola in Ogba from Aja. You have a voice. You are using it well. If you are not using it well, I won't come here. So raise every voice means you have a voice. Your voice is the supernatural part of you, which make you a natural man become a supernatural being. Your voice is your talent. Talent is different from skill. Talent is that which make you operate in the place of your calling with ease. But most people don't know it yet. Skill is that which complement what can help you bring industry. You understand that? As I be singing, I need to sabi play piano. Mm. Because if I play piano, if they produce for people, collect their money, then they do my own. Mm. So industry don't meet ministry. You understand now? Yeah. So raise every voice. Is guy, if you know what you are called to do, be, ba- be proud about it. Be passionate about it. Be insanely crazy about it. Don't let anybody talk you down about it. Don't let even... The fact that you don't have what it takes because it's a blatant lie from the pits of hell. Mm-hmm. God told Moses, what is that in your hand? Yeah. There is a book that follows every race, every voice we do. It is the guideline what we need to follow. Gideon is the one we're following this time around. Gideon was a farmer. Tola, a farmer went to war with that gun hmm. and won <laughs> <laughs> and over, and won the over, over a mighty army. Not not one. Oh. They were Midianites, the Moabites, all of them. Gideon went to war and is the most lazy, most distrust human being. When he see angels as a great man, as soon as they deceive people, one and one said they made a good die when I go to deceive that great man of valor. Which where are the miracle we got? They say we they do it. And the angels saw that hard because the guy was hiding to do what is right. Mm. Why he was making sure. It's not the one they will kill first. <laughs> you understand? So the yeah. might was right. Say, you mighty man, go with this. Even with all those ones, he did dodge God. So raise every voice. What we are trying to say is three things. Ladies and gentlemen, our nation is on crossroads. It's at a crossroad. 
you like it or not. The more men are developing science, technology, and the know-how, the more problem they are creating. I was thinking the more innovative you become, the wiser and better you, you get. But this one, we are getting worse. Show me any nation in the world with all the sophistication in uh, uh, technology and science and the rest. I will tell you the problem that is worse than what they have developed. Mm. You understand that? So our voice is, we must cry a common cry against the enemies of humanity. The first one is hunger, strike, unemployment, hatred, disease, stealing. Sin is the bane of corruption. So we must, we must cry against corruption. Somebody asked me a question, I said, be candid, stop, stop. I know you are a broadcaster, be candid. What do you think can solve the problem of Nigeria? I said, good leadership. Yeah. Everything rises and falls on leadership. If my body language is like this, nobody go try to speak on that language when it be like my body language. You understand? So it's simple, it's simple semantic. John C. Maxwell always tells us, leadership is everything. Good leadership will ask great questions and great minds will create solution for it. So that's one. The other one is raise every voice. We need to talk about the truth that is plaguing the church. If you have platform, thank God for people like Pastor Paul. Pastor Paul at the is the most magnanimous man when it comes to giving the altar, the platform for people to minister. He has speaking, he has speak people from Aladura, Baptist, anywhere you can think of. He don't pick all of them, but they perform. He does not judge you. He has that heart. You understand? Just imagine if we are all doing that. Industry will plenty. Mm. Industry will plenty. So I, right. I give that to him. So raise every voice again is allowing children to have the fair opportunity at a, sh- a shot at what should be done. Give them the fair opportunity. No, don't put only your own. No, don't put only your own. Jesus no die for the one way hate him. Only the one way love him only. He died both for the one way hate him and the one way no hate him. Mm. He, he died for everybody. That's how we used to go set trap no in one cash. So you let it out like that. The next thing again is how many platforms do we have? Are we connected? Christians ought to be connected. Any church that is frowning against another church, I don't think they are ready to go to heaven yet. Whether you like it or not, look at my face. I'm saying it. Obus Bezali Brodo. If you are frowning your face and there is problem in the land and you cannot come to a common ground and say, let us do this. The church tribes in persecution. Let's do this. You don't want to do it? No problem. I was supposed to be in the Korodu to do a program. One of our governors there, we call them directors or governors, he went around the church that want to use your venue. He said, no, this period, they don't allow anybody to use the church. I said, it's a problem. He said, why? I said, because God is leaving the church already. Mm. If God, they go outside now. We'll see, funny. Why prostitutes? They save uh, Israel. Rehab now, prostitutes now. Where did they, they sell now? Now, chief, chief, Merchandise office. <laughs> <laughs> but God say Jesus will come from her lineage. Wow. You understand now? So not be today start. So raise every voice, give your children right opportunities, good platforms, and also teach them industries. One of the things that made this young voice to suffer. A great man from the Americas invited us to come and tour the 50 states in America. And our fathers wrote a letter to us. If he didn't see it, his secretary is his representation. Whatever his secretary does is him. He said, I have known these children for 15 years. Whatever you can do to help them, help them. If I would write the letter for him, I'll say, this is my father. I will die for him. Anything, you can take my blood for his sake, but make sure they go. I will make sure they come back. That's what I will do. And we were dreaming to make sure this man with the cross leg alone. Now, computer with the cross leg when we come back. You imagine that kind. So, fathers, we don't, we should stop that. Raise Every Voice is help us create these platforms. The final thing about Raise Every Voice is more, or more all of us have seen though. The militants, whether Boko Haram, ISIS, or whatever, or bandits they are doing so. The blood of the ones they are killing are crying against the land. Mm. And those of us who say, because say, you day here, you know, reach you. If snake, use head, bite your papa, you stay touching you know, about you know. So we need to all raise our voice and say, this is wrong. This is wrong. Nigeria is my country. I don't have to do I have this I never go to airport one day say, guy, I won't go to this country. They are not going to come back. No. The ones you just tell me, say, I know come back. I will just come out. I don't turn down too like that. Because they'll tell me, say, God say, no, go. I don't turn too down. The one way say, eh, if you come back, I go, I come back. But anyone way say, eh, I go, you leave hmm. You know, so it, it, it raise everyone. It's time. Our voice and mom, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. 
We are, we are wow. more it's too short. It's too short. My goodness, just a power pack session right here. As in, time has run so fast. I'm telling you. But, but let me just say this before before I let you go, though. So there is an album, yeah. It's a 13 track album. Yeah. Uh, Raise every voice. Um, like all stars is, is a compilation. Yeah, see all stars. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you, you might want to check that out right now. Available across digital stores. Mm. Um, just search for Raise Every Voice. Raise Every Voice. Uh, you know, we have, of course, Obuzali yeah. uh, on, on a number of tracks right there. Guest appearances from Joy, from Antonio. Uh, Joy is Leah. Leah, yeah. okay. The name had to be changed from Leah to Joy. To Joy. Yes, because she found Joy. And Leah was not what was we, the, right. we wanted. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> she's insane. She did, she's, wow. she's insane. We're actually focusing on her in a couple of months from wow. now. She's going to have a solo concert. We, we all hear about it. Joy is insane. I've never spoken about artists eh? like I'm saying this now. Not because it's my daughter. She's insane. I had two songs she did just last week. Wow. <laughs> no, no, no. Wow. Make her you know what? Because of time, we're almost <laughs> we're almost done with the show right now. Um. So before we before we wrap up, because mm. we have less than two minutes to go. Wow. Um. What would you love to say to those listening to the show right now? Just, just. If okay. you're a young one, you are talented. You are gifted. Singer, comedian, dancer, fashion designer, whatever you have, and you are struggling with it. God called me for it. There is a community for you. There is a tribe for you. It's called the Christian Talent Community. Our concern is the Christian Entertainment Community. If you want to do Christian Entertainment, I dare for you. Eh? Plenty of people. We are many. Talent from over 300 churches. That's on everybody. We are all there for you. The other thing I will talk to you about is one. If you are serious, we will know. Because if you are not serious, I can't push you. Mm. You understand? We will not push you. We also have an online television where everything will be happening actually it's been viewed 7 million times over 300,000 registration so far we have not spoken anything about it but this is our media week so we're saying this now then tell her then get radio everything so we now here we do we'll not get time for radio we want to be able to make sure when people ask you for your content they can go somewhere yeah and look at it this one are artists from over from delta abuja ghana you know all around uh, rivers and the rest we picked the best of the best because we wanted to define some this is the second compilation now in three years so we do that we're shooting films films are coming up mm. we're doing fashion shows they are coming up then we're having gigs you know government knows they may do no more than 40 people social distance the covid rules and regulations so we're doing mini gigs so that we can identify all of us because whoever creates content commoditize attention and whoever commoditize attention creates demand and if you are in demand you can make a demand are they lagos would they hear so 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 how can people um like i'm 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 talented i want to be a part of this community how, he's a how part do... of the community <laughs> don't mind you but for you who want to be a part of it yeah. it's registration uh, uh joy is the pro of All the right. platform so we have a, a so chat. what do they what do they do right now and you just go online that. official ctc ng official official ctc ng yes All right official ctc ng just all go right. there and ask all the questions okay that's um yes. on, on on social all, all board, social all at all. official cities mm. CTC NG. NG all right. CTC NG. That's how far we can go on the show today. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to bring you our question of the day like we planned because uh, time is already um, uh, uh, already already gone. Apologies to you. Sorry I took that. That's <laughs> fine, guys. All right. So, God bless you guys. There's a repeat broadcast at 4 p.m., another repeat broadcast at 10 p.m., just in case you missed a part of the show. And yes, I do recommend you listen to it again and again. Also, the podcast will be available on the Praise World podcast so you can listen over and over and over again. Again, my name is Tola Omoni. On behalf of the entire crew, on behalf of uh, Olufunke with the ginger, Omotoyosi, Nessa, Dan, Isaac, everybody, and of course, our special guest today, Obuzali mm. with the fire. Thank you. <laughs> we say, Thank God you. bless you, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye now. That's how it is.
is the Praise O'Clock Show, 10 a.m. West African time every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, every weekday, right here on PraiseWorldRadio.com. We have all the very best of news, gist, music, and so much fun. All right, so make sure you catch us every weekday. Follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram at PraiseWorld underscore, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel on YouTube, PraiseWorld TV. Oh, it's time. It's Praise O'Clock. I'll see you.